What's happening with you, YouTube? We are back today. Got a video, guys, uh, that I'm gonna bring for you guys today. It is going to be the NFL draft location. So my son and I say, what up, Jace? What up, what up camera? What up, world? We are walking past Caesars Palace right now. We are getting ready to go to the Bellagio. And we are going to check out the NFL draft. So y'all stay tuned. Get ready, man. This ought to be a good one. I'm going to bring two videos for you guys uh, doing this. So we'll start off with this one. This is going to be the initial setup. Come on. This one will be the initial setup. And then the other video is going to be part two, showing them as they progress. So we are on our way. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all see beautiful Las Vegas is popping as usual. People are back out on the street. And that's what it is, man. So we're going to get to it. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. So as you guys can see right here, we are going to be on the side. Normally where they would have the water up at and the water show going, you guys see that big giant crane where they were kind of be able to maneuver the stage down. So you guys can see that. Um, see the metal barring there on the side as well. Um, then you see the overall stage in general. So it looks like the water show will still be able to go on, uh, which should not be a problem. Now, um, looks like they're eventually going to have this blocked off or maybe just certain areas where it can be blocked off. Now you guys do see the staging over here where they continue to breathe the staging in uh, so they can go ahead and put that down um, and get it set up over the water. Very creative how they did it. Um, so I just wanted to bring it to you guys firsthand. So what we're gonna do um, is Jason and I are gonna walk all the way around. Um, and we'll kind of give you guys different shots of different areas so that you can kind of see what's going on. This one will be part one. I will be doing either three parts to this one. Um, I will have a second part as it gets closer towards the date uh, to kind of show you guys where they're at as far as being final and complete with it. And then we'll also have a good treat for you too as well. We do have some tickets to, to join the draft um, and do some events. So uh, always looking forward to that, man. For, for those of you guys that don't know, um, I am working with the company within Pro Camps. Um, and we used to do this all the time. We'd go to the NFL draft uh, to Indianapolis um, and we would go every year for that draft, uh, you know, and then for the, the actual combine itself. So always good and we can bring you guys some material like this and always looking forward to it. But you guys see right here, the water show still will go on. I view of the stage. And like I said, I'll walk you guys, we'll go in front here. Then we'll make our way around the other side but I'll get an opportunity to show you guys right here so we can see the guys kind of working hard at hand here. Uh, looks like the, the squad team here or the diving squad that goes under and kind of prepares this. You guys seen that on TV as well. Pretty cool right there. So it looks like they're bringing board by board, uh, you know, as they do it, man. So it's pretty unique uh, how they were able to use this as a stage, uh, you know, for them to walk across basically um, and, you know, be introduce it to the world in the NFL. But as you guys can see right there, they are doing that. That is their uh, diving squad. And I'm pretty sure they're responsible, uh, you know, for making sure that the water pressure and everything else stays the way it's supposed to here in Bellagio. But yeah, man, we'll go ahead and do that. Just wanted to show you this side. We'll walk into the front side, give you guys a little bit more better view. Stay tuned. Sorry for the audio here, guys. Uh, we had to cut it out just due to being copyrighted. Uh, loud music was playing through the speakers. Um, so we're just kind of walking along here. Um, as you guys can see on the left, they have some uh, pieces that they have that they're using that bright lane of Las Vegas Boulevard. Um, and then you kind of see where they have the pieces for the stage um, and how they're transferring them, those pieces over to the actual water area one thing you do have to keep in mind too is anytime they have a, a event like this uh, such as this magnitude they're gonna have everything heavily uh, you know populated as you guys can see security on deck uh, they have police officers um, you know they got 
agents just kind of sitting around making sure that everything is locked down that area is locked down is not going to be accessible to the public uh, as you guys see the police officer right here just making sure everything is locked down and, and good to go um, right here where I was just pointing at all the way down Las Vegas Boulevard you're going to notice that that lane is completely taken that was for their generators and what have you uh, so we're moving over to the right side over here. This is going to be the stage area. This looks like the foundation. Um, and then they're going to have another portion of where they're using this. Maybe this is where the guys are sitting at. Um, and then they'll kind of walk over to that stage. I'm guessing this is going to be fully accessible to the public the night of the draft. Um, but we'll see. You know, we'll definitely see. So now as you guys can see, we're getting ready to approach the actual stage area. They have it roped off, blocked off. Um, and this is just going to be for them to get to and from, I believe, to get everything. You guys see that big generator. Normally, when you guys are on the strip, those generators are never there. You guys seen that crane. I'm going to show you the crane towards the end. You guys will see that that crane is bringing those heavy generators over and placing them there so that they do have the power that they need. Now, one thing we did like um, was how they came up with the idea in general just to set the actual stage right here in the middle of the Bellagio. Um, and this is going to be kind of cool because if they do leave this open to the public, this will be all over this whole opening. So you will have a view, uh, whether it's the front or the back uh, or either one of those side areas. Um, this was always kind of cool to me just for the sports, as I said. Um, you know, we've kind of traveled all over the world off of sports, doing pro camps, working with so many different athletes, uh, Victor Oladipo, Jason Tatum, um, Denzel Valentine, Jarvis Landry. Man, the list is, is, is really a long list, and just having the opportunity to do that, you know, the kids have been around it. Um, they have kind of experienced it. Um, and then with me kind of working with the Raiders too, they kind of get that first hand as well. So like I said, we're definitely going to do a three part series to this. This is going to be the first part. Um, the second part will be them with the finalizations of everything once everything is completed. And then we'll bring you that third part where we actually do have those tickets, um, you know, to join. Uh, which should be pretty fun. It should be some good footage for you guys to kind of check out and see, um, you know, how they get done and they set this amazing thing up. So I really wanted to bring this video for those that are not around in the area and don't plan out, you know, plan on coming out, period, um, you know, to be able to see it. Uh, so I definitely wanted to bring it to you firsthand. And it's, it's really an exciting time for Las Vegas. Um, you, know, it, you know, considering the times that we're in and the things that we are going through, it is a wonderful time here to be in Las Vegas. Uh, they're bringing a lot of stuff here, really keeping the city engaged. Um, and I think this draft is definitely, you know, you see them working hard. Uh, all those guys up underneath the tent there. Um, and, you know, just putting everything together with the big giant crane. Uh, they had a scuba diving team out there. So it's a lot of pieces to the puzzle in bringing this together. And this is why I kind of wanted to bring it so that when you guys see the actual event live on TV, you guys get understanding how they set everything up, uh, how they were able to kind of maneuver um, and get the actual uh, the flooring tiles out there on the water to sit like that, man. So that is truly, truly amazing right there. So shout out to the dive team for that one. Um, and I'm only going to imagine this place is going to be jam-packed come that time. So you guys see, I'm turning around here, just kind of showing you all of the stuff on the road. You guys see that crane in the back back there. Uh, man, I wish I really could play this because we got some dope footage. And at the same time, man, we were really talking some good stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, definitely don't want to get copyrighted. So uh, we're right here, as you guys can see, no public access, can, you know, construction area right there. Um, you definitely want to lock in, make sure that you're not crossing that line. Like I said, this place is heavily, heavily, heavily secured. Uh, there's the crane I was talking about. So I'm looking up. That crane is actually taking the floor tiles, which are sitting over there in front of the crane under all the way down that street on Las Vegas Boulevard. And they're transferring those, those tiles and everything else and those big generators from the street over into the water. And that's how they're doing it. So it's pretty amazing what they're doing. Everybody's, it's a, it's a piece of the puzzle to, you know, to every, from every angle, just put it that way. 
Um, it should be an exciting time here in Las Vegas for this draft. Um, I'm, I would imagine this place is going to be jam-packed, you know, uh, probably a lot of car accidents that night. Um, and I'm not sure if they're going to keep this, you know, open to the public or what their plans are. But like I said, as we get closer, you guys will kind of see that. Um, if you guys stick around for that part two that I will be dropping as we get to the finalizations, I will be able to kind of give you that more of an in-depth detail walkthrough as to what's really going on and what they plan to do. But always exciting. Looking forward to bringing you guys at two and three uh, for sure. Um, and then having a family with us and just having that NFL experience and doing all of that. Um, you know, plenty of different things. You know, if I was back in Michigan, uh, you know, we definitely will be heading out to Indianapolis every year. You know, I always had tickets to join the draft. Um, and that was the actual combine draft. So I would go every year and experience that. Took the kids with me, um, you know, a few times the boys. So always looking forward to it, man. Anytime it's a sporting event. Um, and it's going to be a big, big time here in Vegas. Um, so if you do have your tickets or, you know, if you're planning on coming out, man, you better do it and, and get locked in right now. Uh, but we appreciate everybody, you know, that's been rocking with us from Jump. Uh, continue to like, share, and subscribe um, to the channel because, uh, you know, we're just going to keep bringing videos, man. But, you know, whenever I feel need to do it, we'll do it. Part two and then part three will be coming, like I said. Uh, two will be the finalizations of everything uh, as they get completed. And then part three will be us and kind of the actual event uh, walking around showing you guys some of the cool things that they have going on for that NFL draft, uh, you know, experience here in Las Vegas, Nevada. The only place to do it, one of the dime mecca of the sports now. Um, it just was really glad that I could bring this video to you guys. Sorry for the audio, man, but you know it is what it is. And appreciate everybody and stay tuned for part two and three. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And hit the notification bell, that way I'm gonna tell you about our videos. None of them videos, boy, but we told y'all y'all better lock in. Until next time, guys. Peace. Peace.